Stream, 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 stream starting soon. Stream starting soon. Green starting soon.
two, one. Hey guys and gals, welcome to the Oxford Holy Club, a place where we ready ourselves to give an answer for the hope that's in us. We will also try to answer your questions, random questions from the interwebs, and have some fun too. So put some seatbelts on your ears because we're in for a wild ride. Well, hello Oxford Holy Club, welcome to episode 127, A Year in the Amazon Jungle. I am one third of your host, Brad Siliker, and to my left is Lucas Candy, and right below both of us is Andrew Beckwith. Uh, gentlemen, <laughs> no, this is not going to, hi. This is very Brady Bunch. How you guys doing? Very well. Uh, I will make one one suggestion to the intro is when you say, how are you doing? I'm afraid to talk. And I think Andrew's afraid to talk. Um, and I think we're both, uh, I'll stop thinking for Andrew. But yes, I think we're both doing well. Andrew, this, are we doing well? I'm bad. This is why we're scheduling to have a time of of development for the podcast potentially next week to deal with these issues as they arise. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Also, I forgot that in the intro video now that I made the screen flash on beat. Yeah. Every time I'm like, what's going on? I, I forgot. And I'm like, oh, oh, what's happening? Oh, I did that intentionally. I forgot. <laughs> so listen, those of you that are watching from home, if we've induced seizures, will you let us know? And we will uh, we'll write that and get get rid of that. But if it's if it's uh -huh. something, if it's your jam, if it gets you, you know, focused in, you know, it's coming because your screen's freaking out, then it's serving its purpose. Uh, listen, I'm not going to belabor the point. We got lots to talk about. Uh, we're going to go through our Amazon shopping lists uh, from the past year. Mm -hmm. We're going to smorp on something. Uh, I'm looking forward to our smorp out of 1 Corinthians. We're going to catch up and talk about life and things like that. And then I, make sure that you stay to the end because we're going to show you a picture of something I didn't know existed that Andrew is making us choose between these two things. I Kind of wish I still didn't know it existed, but go ahead. <laughs> yeah, those those of you that are listening um, later that don't get to see this, I'm gonna. I want to encourage you to find us on Facebook uh, and on YouTube. You can do that. Just search o Oxford Holy Club, subscribe, like, all that kind of stuff, and then you'll be able to see what we're talking about. Or you can continue just to subscribe to our podcast audio and listen to our voices. We'll do our best to describe it when we get there. But that's it for me. Uh, let's toss to you, Andrew. What we gonna what we gotta right, do, guys? I think we should catch up. What you been up to? Who are you talking to? I'm scared. Lucas. Yes. Well, let me get into it. So uh, we've had a kind of a mild time so far in <laughs> uh, in Fredericton. It's been pretty mild weather wise, and but except last night it was it rained a ton yesterday, and then it got super cold overnight, which I didn't think of anything because it's not snow, so it wasn't on my radar. I was like, Psh, big deal. Anyway, I come outside, go to open the uh, open the trunk, frozen solid. And I was like, oh. no. And I forgot our van is bad for that. Like if anytime it like, not during f snow or anything, but when water gets like all all in there and freezes, it's, it's not good. So, and I was late. Of course, Tuesday is garbage day. And I also have a morning duty like outside to make sure the kids don't get, you know, hit oh, by sorry. cars or whatever. And <laughs> yeah, there we go. Anyway, and... <laughs> And so I'm like, I'm late as per usual. Um, you know, garbage is done. The kids are like standing around their socks. They're like, what do you mean we have to get dressed like we do every day? This is a new information to me. I had no idea. Um, anyway, so I'm rushing around. I run up to the car. I'm already late. And then I pull on the trunk handle. Like, it won't open. I was like, oh, no. So I was like, I'm going to have to go in from the, from the side, which was dumb of me to think because the trunk should be theoretically the easiest one. Do you do, you do that? Like with the handles, <laughs> just to, all the way up and down, all the cracks and stuff. No. Yeah. So then I go to the front and I, and I pull on the handle, nothing. I was like, are you kidding me? So I was like, I was like pounding on the seams and like trying to get my fingers in where like the rubber is and like mm -hmm. trying to pull it out. And anyway, the Dodge Caravan is decent for many things, but uh, handling wet weather is not one of them. Anyway, after about, I don't know, five minutes of like micro hitting all the fissures, trying not to like hurt anything or myself. And I was like, oh, what am I going to do? This is like the worst, no good, very bad day ever. And then I realized <laughs> the doors were locked. <laughs> I don't normally lock the doors of the van. And someone, I don't know if I accidentally did or my wife did or the kids did, 
but anyway, uh, I almost ripped the door handle off of a locked car. Uh, so anyway, I <laughs> hit the button and probably cause I loosened it, it opened up no problem. Uh, but anyway, so yeah. there you go. Wow. You got, you did oh, why don't Could you have been lock worse. your doors? Because I don't live in the, the, the scary city like you guys. I live in the country where people are good people. The country. Plus, it's hand there's, well. There's literally Cut. I live in Charlottetown. I care about in my car. Uh, Even my car, I don't care about that much. And it's not worth stealing. A guy would get in there to steal it and be like, oh, what's with all the goldfish crackers everywhere? I, I could do better. I could definitely do better. Uh, uh, so, so they're a deterrent. Those are those are a theft deterrent. Those they open st- the door. No, are, no, 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 no. Slam the door. Those security crackers. So there you go. I was going to uh, ask yeah. Scotty if he could hook you up with a different vehicle that maybe wouldn't have that same issue. Unfortunately, no. Scotty can't fix stupid. Anyway, Scotty can't fix stupid. <laughs> no, Scotty could. I'm sure he could get me in a in a state of the art uh, Dodge Caravan 2020, maybe even 2021. He'd get me a van from the future, but uh, unfortunately. Uh, this car will last us a little while longer, even if I kind of hope, secretly hope it doesn't. And uh, and then the other one thing is I have an incoming uh, Xbox, thanks to the guy down there in the basement, there, Mr. Uh, Andrew, uh, because these guys both got these guys both got their Xboxes like lickety split because you know they were on the ball. And every time I'd be like teaching, and I'd be like, <laughs> I get fifty texts like Lucas, Lucas now, Lucas now, you gotta go now. <laughs> and uh, and of course I'm like, yeah, I'll check in half an hour when I'm off when I'm done teaching. And of course they were gone. So then I think Andrew's like, just give me the keys to this, buddy, and I'll get them for you. And I was like, okay, <laughs> great. And within like within eight hours, he, <laughs> he's like, yeah, it's done. It's done. It- my watch not all heroes wear capes. My watch <laughs> was going nuts and it was always like Lucas Lucas and like you could just tell it was getting louder Lucas and then eventually it was listen if I just find one can I get it and then it was what's your email Lucas Lucas what's Oh yeah that first one Remember the and then like one. what what's your address yeah. it's in my cart Lucas Lucas <laughs> and then it was and it was all happening and I'm like teaching about like yeah. personal finance or whatever and didn't even feel a thing never you know, impulse buy but yeah. and th- and then it was then... how many classes do you teach i thought you only taught like one every time there's an xbox for sale you're teaching <laughs> do you remember like... he doesn't have his own classroom he has to find a classroom and then the students have to find him if i remember that's how it works mm. <laughs> that's right i am usually chased down by one person or another so but yeah so that was my week where is it at? Uh, so, where... so it was a where, where's your Xbox at? Victory. Where's your Xbox at at this point? It hasn't shipped yet. So knowing uh, Microsoft probably in Vancouver on some remote island somewhere. That's where I think that's where the warehouse is. Um, you know, somewhere in Upper Tuyuktuk in the Northwest Territories, and uh, it'll get here when it gets here. Whenever the spring thaw happens, probably. Okay. So we'll see. <laughs> Once the ice roads have melted, then it shall make mm-hmm. it. That's right. <laughs> They've got a barge. Yeah. <laughs> So that's me, Brad. Well, I've you doing? I've completed. I just I, I wrote it in the notes because I, I didn't want to forget to say it like this. I've completed my first 4K TV purchase. <laughs> 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 oh, sorry, were you under the assumption that 4K was like a big accomplishment running wise? Because even I know that's not true. Uh, well, it's only 1K short of what most people say. Hey, I completed my first 5K, and everyone's like, ooh should they be though like is 5k really ooh worthy like i don't i wouldn't ooh over more than 10 not not saying i can do five i'm just saying it doesn't seem I'm, exciting until you get we're getting off track here i'm checking to <laughs> see how many, i'm checking to see how many k's i've got today so i'm only i'm around four miles hey google how many kilometers is four miles seven eight seven point four you guys kept talking <laughs> six point something so anyway, and I've been moderately active today. Anyway, so uh, as, you, as you mentioned, we got the Xbox. Um, I was able to get my Xbox a little while ago, but I didn't have a TV that I could really enjoy all the new, you know, all the benefits of getting the new technology was lost mm-hmm. on, the, on my old TV. So I uh, did some wheeling and dealing as I tend to do. And, you know, we're going to sell that TV and I've got some other things out there and um, but, but when the deals come up, we're like, we're in, we're in black Friday deals time. So like, you're, I was checking, I am like, I almost asked Andrew, I may have even asked you to get, to start looking for me. I think I sent you a sweet TV. You, I mean, you it did. is like a little expensive. Yeah. Anyway. So, <laughs> so I was able to get it. I think I, did I pick it up yesterday, the day before? 
and uh, and plug the new Xbox into the new. I've never watched anything in 4K ever. Um, these eyes have only seen 1080. Uh, <laughs> and so, so then all of a sudden, Same. well, I, guys, I'm not kidding. I turned it all on. It looked so nice that I was like, I'm getting right up onto the screen to see just how. So I'm like, I'm in how many K's? I, I, I got to count all these K's. I can see their pores. I'm I'm inching in just to see. So it's been cool. Um, unfortunately, you know, when when you then go, I'm gonna go watch Star Trek on this 4K TV. Wait, nope. oh, it nope. looks the same. Uh, it looks the <laughs> same because you know, you, and if. If it's not filmed in 4K or higher, you don't get to see that. So, unfortunately, right now I'm on a Star Trek uh, kick, and it just looks the same. Fun fact, I also randomly watched Star Trek for the first time in a couple of years yesterday when I was plugging in my soundbar. Ooh, what episode? Dish, Gigi. dish. Yes, the Voyager. Oh, fine. They made pass. it all right. No, no, not the strongest set. Not a well fan. Not a fan. That's it. That for me. That it was my week. Was the week of trying to find the 4K TV. I got that done, and now. Uh, begin selling the other TV and I thought you just threw it right in the garbage because I mean, if it's not 4K I mean just... <laughs> if you're forsaken all other TVs well, well I, we don't want I don't want to go too long because we got more things to do but I do want to ask you a question because we're like well what could we do with this TV and I've got another I've got an older Xbox well so on Jaden's Christmas list he wants a TV for his bedroom now the kid's eight going to be nine in January and an Xbox <laughs> yeah. right okay yeah. okay mm -hmm. Okay, hmm. but yes, we are all in agreement. Gonna take my judgy squint cell, sir. Sorry. But, but release your eyes for a second. Um, yep. But we, we like the kids are allowed to take an iPad or, you know, if they've got like Harmony's got her own phone into the bedroom. What is the difference? What, what's the difference between putting a TV and an Xbox in there and letting your kid have a phone in there? Now, just, I, I will say this. Like we, with our internet, we have things locked down. That, so on, on their devices, um, they can't get into whatever, 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 including buying mm -hmm. stuff and, and looking at things that they can't. So I'm not worried about that, but there's just something inside me that goes, it just seems wrong. But then at the same time, it's he, he, <laughs> Lucas is just dying. <laughs> he's got access. He's got access to just as much. In fact, because he's using Android, he can stream Xbox games to that device and play them with a controller. So, so Lucas, just chill. So in my mind, I go, he's, he wants these two things for Christmas and I've actually got them. Because mm -hmm. if I don't sell the TV, I've got a TV. And if I don't sell the Xbox, there's an Xbox. We could hook them up. Mm -hmm. uh, but and and then you monitor it and you don't let him just be in his room like a hermit forever but he's only nine he'll be nine a few days after christmas and for whatever reason it's for that reason i'm out I, I, well the reason i had a thing wasn't to uh to poke poke at your parenting it was it was to uh because i have a i, I have a, a parallel thing to this something that should make no difference, but in my head seems to make a world of difference where when I'm getting ready to make kids breakfast in the morning, I'm like, hey, do you want toast? you want cereal? What do you want? And my kids are like, I want a piece of bread with butter on it. I was like, no, that's not breakfast food. They're like, but it's just like, no, it's not breakfast food. No, no, no. It's got to be toasted. Otherwise you can't have it for breakfast. That's right. So anyway, I, I do. I mean, I do it, but for it, it really, I felt like I wasn't doing a good job parenting when I did it. So, so I don't know well, if I'm just being Oliver, on Oliver toast has or what. asked. Oliver has asked for a grilled cheese for breakfast, but I don't want to give him the grilled cheese, but I'll give him two toasted pieces of bread with cheese in the middle. <laughs> the things we tell her, the lies we tell ourselves as parents. Sometimes but like, just to get through. can I, can I, can you guys just give me, can you break? It's not even a tiebreaker. Maybe it's a mental tiebreaker for me. Is there a huge difference between him having the Xbox and TV in his bedroom versus him having the, an iPad with the same capability, the, just a smaller screen? I think screen? with the iPad, he, he knows it's not his to stay in his room and it can easily be removed. Mm -hmm. Whereas the TV and the and the Xbox would be his and it would just like, the it would be a lot harder to be like, give me that. Well, the, well, mm -hmm. the beauty, see, now here's the thing again, because of the, oh man, we I don't want to talk with this, but because. <laughs> Because of the way that we can we control, like I've got an app where I can turn off the internet to each individual device. So it would just be a matter of, boop, you've got no connection, you can't do anything. 
So yeah, it might be his, but uh, but you know, like it can easily be taken out. It can easily be unhooked. I've taken their Googles out of their rooms when they get grounded from technology. You go grab the phone, you grab the Google, out you go. I don't know. <laughs> My friend, no. So your kids have Googles in their in the rooms, mm-hmm. like like Google Minis. Google, yep, Google Minis. Yep. 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 Um, I think I think once you've cr- once you cross the Rubicon of having screens in the room, I think it doesn't really matter at that point because, like you said, they're all basically it's all just different funnels from the same faucet. So, uh, and you would be infinitely better than most parents at understanding how to like shut off the faucet. Right. Right. Like you you have it all locked down and stuff like that. So um, I've like, I've, we've, we don't like our kids don't have their own devices just because I'm afraid that once we give them to them, we'll never get them back. So uh, I take them, so I take don't. them regularly. Them. <laughs> I take them regularly. We need to find yeah, out. Yeah. So there you go. We need to find out what's going on with Andrew. It's been a week. Yeah. yeah it has been Andrew. How's it going? All right. So here's my story. <laughs> Um, I had some stuff I needed my dad to help me work on. And whenever, uh, my dad and I start a project that's simple or easy enough, it always blows up into this big deal thing. (laughs) Super, super fast. (laughs) So enter Friday, uh, our, uh, for the past couple of weeks, in our house, we have hot water baseboard heaters. We don't have a furnace. We have like an electric furnace that heats the water or whatever. For, and our house is all in zones. So like all the bedrooms are on one thermostat and yep. blah, blah, blah. I've Ever since we moved in, I said I, I've been wanting to swap these out. And so the one zone, the bedroom zone broke and it was stuck on. And so the heat was just like pumping up stairs so i a couple weeks ago I just, a couple weeks ago i just closed off the valve because i didn't know what else to do and i said to my dad like why don't we just start with those rooms and we'll switch them to like electric baseboard heater and then that way i don't have to try and figure out how to fix this other thing and we can work towards what i'm doing anyways so that was the agreed upon thing he gets here within like an hour we're like doing the whole house <laughs> <laughs> just swapping them all out. Oh. So we tore out every heater, every water baseboard heater. And I don't know if you can picture those things, but they take up like every room. It's like a whole wall. Yeah. Like it runs the mm-hmm. length of the wall. And so we tore all of them out. That was Friday. And then they were like, you can't have anybody in your house. <laughs> You're on lockdown. And we're, I was like, well, we have no heat. Oh, so. oh no. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to make an exception. Uh, anyways, we, <laughs> I am super impressed because Friday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we burned through that. We tore them all out. We wired the whole house with new wire, like figured out how to where to run it and how to get it to the panel. And then installed all the heaters. And my dad left. Sunday night we had heat cranking in every room wasn't that the problem to begin uh, with (laughs) (laughs) but I could turn it off and we got like these we got smart baseboard heaters so like I have like an app now and I can control the temperature the heat lucky yeah (laughs) so Andrew's on heat I'm on internet Lucas what are you bringing (laughs) uh heat internet and frozen caravans all right (laughs) ice I have the power of ice that's awesome you can control them with your phone me you talking to me yeah you yeah yeah so i can right now i can only re- control four i have to buy there's like a hub unit so each hub unit can control four and your phone connects to the hub unit mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so i'd have to buy another one to control more than four but i guess the ones i think will be the most annoying to do That's yeah so sweet. special shout out to my dad who worked his butt off to get us heat for the winter luckily it's been unseasonably warm so yeah. it was not a, it, and we have a heat pump too, which it heats like one room. Uh-huh. So we always had at least a little bit of heat going. But anyway, so that was my weekend. It's good. I really expected there to be some kind of a flooding situation or like, oh, well, oh, it was, I mean, so I don't know if you've ever seen inside one of those heaters, but all of that water turns black. 
Oh, gross. And so, and so there was a couple times where I just had this disgusting <sighs> water like flying in my face. One time I cut into the cut into the pipe and I was I was beside my big shelf of board games. I'm like, I should move those. I'm, like, <laughs> it's fine. I'm not gonna and i cut into it and i only got into it a little bit and it was just spraying out the side at all of the games and a sock and i'm like dad dad <laughs> <laughs> using your body to shield it from your shield your games oh uh, anyways it, and so it was messy that was probably the worst part of it but i yeah i'm i couldn't believe we actually got it all done and it all works and i i don't know if i've seen a house with with water baseboard heating i our school has it our, our yeah so they're not school, like the G, they're yeah. not like the big like two foot high like mm. units they look like a normal heater like they're that mm. height yep. but they just take up the whole length of like a wall in each room you've seen them so now every room needs to be crack filled on the bottom because the, <laughs> some of the heaters are like a foot or two feet like they're not long heaters oh, right. i seen ones that were like on the whole wall so there's still a big mess it's going to take me like all winter to pick away at but we'll do weekly check-ins starting now yeah give us a video i can tell you the first month uh i'm gonna say the same thing there's nothing done hey what about Anyways. your what about your xbox did that come in i also got my xbox today which was pretty it was a roller coaster experience oh I my word you. i was <laughs> i was loving the ride because it said it was coming today and all day long it said it's in moncton and then i was like update 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 and then we have a camera at home on in the driveway and i didn't even see it tiffany texted me was like oh i see an xbox and i looked at the camera and the guy was bringing it to the door and i was like i gotta go home and and, and, and like then you, you sit no then you sent us in our group chat the video yeah. of him bringing it you were so pumped and I so I rushed and got the kids and got home and there's no Xbox anywhere. I'm like searching my deck. I'm like, ah, where's it going? And I checked the tracking. It's like tried to deliver and failed to uh, deliver. And I'm like, and there was no like note like pick it up at this time. Blah blah blah. And I was Tiffany's like, you should just go. And I'm like, ah, I'm like, all right, I'm going. So I like went down. Pure later is actually really close to our house, which was convenient. And. Uh, I was like the nicest person in the world to the lady. She she was like super <laughs> flustered about something else. She she was like, "I'm so sorry. I'm just I gotta get this done. I'm gonna miss the truck." I'm like, "It's okay, no problem. You just lay on that time. charm. You just do whatever you need to do." And then she's like, "Okay, what can I do for you?" And I'm like, oh, "I'm just trying to get my my package." And she had it in like five seconds, and I was out the door. So <laughs> nice. I I I have been at my yet. at my own house. And all of a sudden, all day, and I went outside for something, and there was the sticker on my door. It's like, we tried to deliver. And I was like, no, you mm. didn't. I was here. <laughs> it's like, I don't think yeah. you knocked. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, so I haven't played any yet. That's uh, on the agenda for tonight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, hold on, Lucas, before you... There we go. Okay. Whenever you're ready, my man. All right. Uh, so it's time for... I, I told you there was no stinger. Why would you do I this? I thought you said there was a video. There's no... V for what? <laughs> okay. I have a I have it's, a little picture graphic to toss oh, up. Oh, it's a picture graphic. Okay, I thought that was the intro. It's time for picture graphic. Insert now. It's inserted. <laughs> okay. Amazon 2020. So this is an idea that was stolen from the internet uh, that we are going to repurpose for our own devices. 100%. And that, and that is... Uh, we're going to, uh, Brad got us to go back and look at our Amazon order history, which um, I'll be honest, I looked, it turns out I've ordered three things in the past three or four years and then 71 things in, in 2020. Okay. So <laughs> okay. we got the co we got the COVID bump. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, and I'm sure you guys, I'm sure that's not uncommon. We did go through several birth, our family's kind of big birthday uh, swath, which is in the spring. During, during yes brad got a phone book there with uh with all kind is that better not be color ink on the church's dime that's all i can tell you all right anyway uh so we're going to talk about a couple of our highlights from our ordering things that we were just uh that were just magically delicious that we loved in one way or another um and then we're going to talk about any any stinkers any clunkers in the bunch <laughs> uh that you know we were we were late night scrolling when we shouldn't have been on amazon and then we added to cart and then boom we got it. So uh, I will start just to get the ball rolling here. Roll it. So a roll couple it. things. 
Yes. You no, I roll said it? <laughs> roll it. Okay. Uh, I ordered this not that long ago and it's, did I talk about these last week? I talked to a couple people, but I can't, I don't think I talked about it on the podcast. Please say what they are. Anyway. So the people that are listening, no. What do you think it is? The little, no, no, the it's people a, listening by audio only later. Oh, sorry. I'll describe it. It's a small little box here. They are anchor sound core, um, earbuds. It's these things right here. Um, I kind of wanted a pair of wireless earbuds. I had a pair that were wireless, but they actually had the wire that goes around back. And I was like, eh, I don't know. I would really love to have a pair that just go in, in my, my ear holes. But I, but anyway, I didn't want to spend a lot of money. Anyway, they went on a crazy sale and they're still on sale guys for $39.99 on Amazon. Anchor is an awesome brand. And here's the thing that I like about it. They sound good. I'm not like an audiophile, so they sound great for me. But the Anchor is like a battery making company. They make battery power packs. This thing, these earbuds are supposed to hold eight hours of charge each, which is like really good. But here's the crazy thing. This case holds a hundred hours of charge. Um, and I bought it in September, charged it, and we're still at two of three dots uh, for charge. I'm going to see how long I can ride this uh, pony and see before I have to recharge it again. Maybe I can make it to 2021. That's my goal. Um, so I love that. Uh, the other thing well, I got, Luke, and, it, of course, like what? Well, want to take turns? Well, yeah. Can we take turns? Because because okay. Brad, give give us one from your phone book. Only there. because mine dovetails so well into yours. Um, I I also as I was like like looking through, I saw a correlation between when my AirPods died and when all of a sudden I went on this. I I, I didn't even realize how many I had bought and <laughs> and like for different things. So like when I started going to the gym. Uh, I was using my AirPods and they stopped working. And so I was like, I've got to have something. I have to have something. And so I got, I, I went and I bought some and then I returned them and got another pair and returned them and got another pair. And, and then, and, and then there's like, there's, there's it, my shopping list. There's probably like five or six. And so I, I made a note um, cause I was actually starting to see some personality traits uh, in my, in my stuff here. <laughs> I noted that I'm a headphone junkie. Uh, I'm chasing that audio bliss apparently, but <laughs> here's, here's what I've, here's what I figured out from that. So I've bought a lot of them in as well. And I've got a pair, I think I bought anchor, um, over the ear ones that have 30, 30 hours of charge just on those ones, which nice. is, which is nice. So I usually only charge them once a week and, uh, just to be in this, you know, just to be it's in the a same once side. a week treat. It's a once a week treat. <laughs> um, but what I what I recognize is that frankly I not, nothing compares to AirPods. I I have a pair of in, Bluetooth in ear that that I like, but push come to shove, but you don't love. No, I have not found something as magical as AirPods just for the way they sit in your ear, the quality, and how they work with my phone. So mm -hmm. if given the opportunity, I would uh, I would sell them all and and secure a pair of AirPods. However, I will not buy AirPods used because you don't know what the battery life is like. You, and you're also a big germaphobe. Well, there's that. Anyway. They're on sale at Walmart for like 179. I, I see Mandy's in chat, Mandy. <laughs> Mandy also said she got a pair of these puppies for 24.99. And yep. if you can, I mean, unless you're like a, you know, an Air, AirPods guy, give them a try. I mean, worst case scenario, you can use them as your backup pair, but they're, uh, they're pretty mad. I'm pretty sure, Mark, you can return anything to Amazon. Yeah, it seems that way. I've mm -hmm. never done it. I assumed it was really difficult, but I heard oh, it's so I, easy. Both you guys told me it was super easy. It so is so easy. Very, yeah. very easy. All right, how about, how about you, uh, Andrew? What's something you've uh, enjoyed? Well, most of my ordering this year is really themed around uh buying stuff for like church and like <laughs> getting your audio church online audio single-handedly lifting them into the web um <laughs> a lot of cords and stuff but something i bought <laughs> uh for myself uh but it was for that uh was a microphone for my camera i wanted to have like a shotgun microphone uh for like good audio quality uh with, when i was filming and stuff and i spent probably way too long uh researching uh like different mics and road mics are like the i was, like, I was gonna say did line. you get the road like, shotgun if you want like yeah. an audio mic for video and stuff like that's what you buy and <clears throat> but they're they're expensive they're expensive uh anyways i bought i don't have it here but i bought a it's called a deity uh mic and anyways for church 
Thanks, Patricia, for uh, liking the stream. Uh, yeah. For most people won't care, but it's it's a great quality quality mic for like half the price of the road one. And I've been super pumped about that. Um, it's one of those things that like obviously I'm not using it a ton, <laughs> but I just love that I have it when I need it. Um well, and so I've really I've not regretted that purchase. I've got nice. like I got this which plugs in through USB to your phone or to your computer. And it's, I love it, but I use it maybe once or twice a year, but it's there when I need it. So there's, yeah. there's value did it, there. Did you get it on Amazon? I Actually, I did. I did get it on okay, Amazon, good. but not this year. I'll allow it. Not this as, year. As the Amazon commissioner, I'll allow it. Oh, awesome. Uh, okay. So, so back to me, obviously I would talk about this cheap fountain pen, which is my favorite of all my fountain pens, but I talk about it too much. So I'm not gonna. Uh, so I'm going to talk about this little number right here. It's a, it's not the Google Home, which I do love Google Homes. It's the little Google Home adapter thing that you, uh, have, yeah. you, you do it and it curls the cord all around with the plug and you just plug it right into the wall. It just, it's nice. so clean. And it was like 12 bucks for three of them because always it's plastic. And I was afraid it wouldn't work that great, but it works awesome. And I love it. I've never seen this. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a great little doing it. Now the new ones, the nests or whatever, have like a little hole so you can just put a screw in the wall and hook it on, which is okay. What? But I like the fact that it hides all the cords. Son and, of a gun. And all that. Yep. I'm a big fan. I highly recommend, especially if you know somebody who's into it. And uh, it just, I bought them for my, I bought like a three pack and I gave a couple to my dad for his birthday. And then I took the spare one. Um, that's a gift for both of us. Man and, Mandy, yeah, I know so you're watching. Take, take note, take note. Hey, anybody that's watching yeah. from home, let us know what about your Amazon purchases. Some, we should do this every year, and this could be like our Christmas shopping, uh, like get hints to people. Ah, <laughs> oh, nice. nice. Our wives have to watch. Hey, Tyler, thanks for liking the stream, my man. Uh, okay, am I next then? You're, you're next. Yeah. Oh, oh, all right. Uh, so I had to go back a ways, and I've, it's there's only two of these in um, in the year that I've had to buy them, but it signified my becoming a man. <laughs> <laughs> do, you know, does anybody want to guess what those things are? Do you want, uh, any guesses? Tools. Something Pardon. to do with tools? Pardon me. Tools. Yeah, it's got to be tools, the, I think. This was the moment I became a man. Can anyone guess what, how, the, how I bought that off of Amazon? Oh, oh, I know. I know. A tool, something, something trailer related that you needed for your trailer. No, tool, sir. Tool, trailer tool. Trailer tool. No, incorrect. Uh, I, my brakes and my rotors, uh, like pads and rotors, we bought online through Amazon for the, for both vehicles. And I did the brakes for both vehicles. I've always wanted to do my own brakes, but I didn't know what I was doing. My uncle who was a mechanic showed me this last year. And so when I went back, I'm like, Oh yeah, that's when all of a sudden my beard got a little thicker. Uh, my muscles pumped up a tiny <laughs> bit, got a little deeper, just a little deeper. And I, I became a man. I started to walk with a longer stride. Um, mm -hmm. I tip my hat to everyone I saw now and off your cap. Yep. Anyway, so breaks and, uh, there's not much to say here other than it has been, <laughs> it has been a hundred percent. No, that no, I can't say a hundred percent cause that's actually math. It has been a lot <laughs> cheaper uh, to go through Amazon to get our car parts. Uh, generally mm -hmm. now, instead of obviously skipping the mechanics, the best thing, no, no offense yeah. to mechanics, uh, but skipping the middleman, I mean, and and going you skipped you skipped it has been fantastic and they you know they get there in a few days business idea and then you get the mechanic <laughs> well mechanic I mean, comes to your door it's nice it. that's awesome but it's not a mechanic it's, it's just not because he gets skipped some, just Brad. some guy with prime <laughs> hi i'm here to order your brakes <laughs> all right andrew what's another one of your favorite things so in midsummer i went on a little bit of a smart home uh, kick and so this is kind of a double whammy, but I bought uh, a garage door opener uh, that I can open my garage with Google. Ooh, <laughs> and uh, I, like I love that. Like, again, it's mm. one of those things where I was like, oh, like 50 bucks. Do I really want to spend that? Uh, but like once I had set up, uh, actually, I broke it when I was setting it up. <laughs> because <laughs> you have to. <laughs> so quick story. Hey, Google, stop, it. Google, stop. <laughs> no, Google, stop. I did it because I really broke it, obviously. Uh, <laughs> I was setting it up. Like, you plug it all into like your garage door opener, and I threw all this, the wires and the little thing up on top of the garage door opener. But there's a big chain up there that pulls the garage door open. 
and all of the wires get shredded in this chain. And, and you're uh, like, oh, actually, yeah. So I ended up fixing it. I like spliced them together, and it's worked for uh, several months now. Who needs a mechanic? Uh, <laughs> oh man so anyway so there's that which i love and then i bought the outdoor camera for the driveway and mm -hmm. I, I mean again you're like oh do i need an outdoor camera but it is so sweet to like know when stuff arrives and like mm -hmm. my my car is like in the picture so you like i mean lucas obviously he lives in safeville but yeah uh, here, here in ghetto st john you know it's good to have a camera <laughs> on, camera on your car uh, so those are two, uh, purchases that I, uh, I've been enjoying. That's awesome. Uh, and one. then, uh, we'll, uh, we'll move on if you guys want to, to the duds and is there any, oh, any, any, I had one more good one. Oh, sorry. You got another good one. Uh, okay. We'll do honorable your, mentions, honorable yeah, mentions throw your dad in there as well. Uh, okay. So uh, go ahead, Lucas. Go. No, go ahead. Okay, well, my honorable mention will be something I forgot was actually on the list, which is this phone case. And the reason I like this phone with the stream on it uh, is because it has a little uh, secret compartment for your credit cards and stuff. Um, I don't use it for that because I have Apple Pay and I'm not a caveman, but I, uh, I do use it for my business cards. And it's great because I don't need them that often. And if I leave them in my wallet, they get all like bent and gross. So if, it doesn't happen that often. I'm not, I'm not you know a businessman or whatever all the time but every now and then i'll be talking to somebody like oh yeah can i get your number and i'm like hold on like there you go and it just one smooth motion and it's great and then uh, they faint in just amazement <laughs> i love how you straddle the line of antiquity and technology <laughs> yeah, that's right i'm not i'm not a caveman look at me pay with this oh all right want to contact me here's my, in card, there. Here's my card sir. and then <laughs> and uh my dud would be, um, I forgot to bring it out, but it doesn't really need the visual is, I got all excited because we've been eating a lot of popcorn for our, our family movie nights. So I thought we got to take this to the next level. I, I ordered myself this big thing of orange, like the buttery stuff that's supposed to be for the popcorn. And it's actually coconut oil. So I'm like, hey, look at that. That's nature's treat. It's healthy. Uh, anyway, we tried it. It does make the popcorn orange like the movie theaters but it doesn't really give it much of that popcorny flavor. We still have to drench it in butter. Uh, mm. So mm. a bit of a $20 swing and a miss. But, uh, yeah, it was like for uh, quite a bit. But anyway, yeah, so that was a bit of a swing and a miss. And the other thing was a little plastic thing that's supposed to go behind your face mask to make mask wearing mm -hmm. better for the, for the COVID uh, man on the go. But uh, it never showed up. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a... <laughs> yeah. All right. So uh, for me... The, the last thing that's the honorable mention was uh, I love getting Kindle books on Amazon. So I've got, you know, doing the courses that I'm in every now and then I need to grab a book. Uh, and, mm -hmm. and that's been fantastic. I looked through and saw some of the books, some that I haven't read yet and I need to not for the courses, but just personally, what was the biggest fail for me was going through and seeing how many months I failed at canceling my audible subscription after my free trial. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and Mandy asked me after the first payment came through and I'm like, yeah, 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 I'm on that. I'm on that. And so then I'm looking like, oh, there it is. Page one. Oh, shoot. Page two, three, four, like five months of paying for Audible. <laughs> <clears throat> Have you been at least listening to the books? No, oh, no. That's, so many novels, Brad. That's why it's that's why it's my fail. My Amazon fail. There you go. All right. So my uh, honorable mention is actually the last thing I purchased. Um, so we have a heat pump when we rent it from St. John Energy. So they fix anything that's wrong with it. So I dropped a remote and smashed the screen. Uh, so I was, called them and was like, hey, this is broke. And they're like, okay. And then there was something else wrong with it too. So they're like, we'll send a tech out. So the guy shows up and he's, he's like, oh look he looks at he's like oh you broke your remote eh? i'm like yeah they said you were gonna bring one he's like no i don't have one here with me um he's like listen they're gonna charge you like 130 dollars for that remote and i was like what <laughs> <laughs> like they're like they didn't tell me that he's like yeah they're gonna charge you a lot of money he's like here look at this you should pull to this phone he's like buy this one so i went on amazon and i bought a ten dollar remote it came wish.com it came in two days and it works perfectly fine. Uh, like it's like the brand name is Chung Chung Hong or something. But 
but literally yeah. like sure. it's like it took me two seconds to program it and i'm just cooking again oh so this uh, isn't so. your dud then no i thought he was no, doing his is, dud too this is my so honorable, i was very surprised I said this is my honorable mention apologies yeah, sorry apologies uh my dud is something uh, uh like lucas that just never showed up i i ordered some garage lights like they're bright led they're like on these things and it doesn't matter and uh i ordered them in august and when i ordered them it was like estimated delivery october 29th to (laughs) november 19th and i was like that's a long time but sure they're a pretty good deal so i think i'm okay with it anyways i patiently waited for them to come and then november 19th came nothing i waited another day or two and then i i messaged them and they're like we don't know where they are we can't really confirm you know that they're coming or not but amazon has told us we need to give you your money back so oh. here it is <laughs> here it is <laughs> so i could still maybe get them and i got my money right back. old jeff amazon went straight to them and said give andrew his money <laughs> Mr. Well, Bezos, I think what happens Mr. is Bezos. when you send them an email that a copy goes to Amazon too. Uh, Maybe I don't know, but I got my money back and no nice. lies. Careful, Mark. This is a <laughs> cautionary tale. Don't buy them. <laughs> well, folks, but you knew exactly what you were talking about from your description. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, those—that's what I want. The flappy lights. If they ever yeah. show up, Mark, Flappers. I'll give you a good review uh, <laughs> or a bad review. Oh, good grief. Well, I mean, there's an awful lot more in our histories we could, I'm sure we could go on to, but uh, it is getting to be that time. I think the scripture is short this week for our smorps, so we're still going to go for it. You guys good with that? Or do you want to go to the... Yes. Yeah? Yep. Good. All right. So SMORP is, uh, it means, it's an acronym. It means scripture, message, obedience, repentance, and prayer. Basically, very quickly, what we're going to do is go through a portion of scripture, and then we're going to go through some some pointed questions that line up with those acronyms. We would encourage you, if you would like to, to to get a journal and please follow along. And if you're watching or listening, uh, talk to us through the chat. We'd love to hear what's on your mind and maybe what the Lord is saying to you. So our scripture today comes from... 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 24 to 27. It's Paul writing, and he says this. Do you not know that in a race all the runners run, but only one receives the prize? So run that you may obtain it. Every athlete exercises self-control in all things. They do not receive, uh, uh, sorry, they do it to receive a perishable wreath, but we an imperishable So I do not run aimlessly. I do not box as one beating the air, but I discipline my body and keep it under control, lest after preaching to others, I myself should be disqualified. Do you guys want me to run that one more more time? Are you good? I got it. You got it? Uh, So what we do is we read that scripture, and now what we're going to ask is this question. What words or phrases or observations in this passage stand out to you? Does it tell you something about the nature and work of God? And is there a piece of scripture that you can memorize? That's a lot of questions all up front. But the main thing right now we're looking for is words and phrases. What stood out to you guys from that? For me, it was, uh, so run that you may obtain it. Hmm. Yeah. Mine was that too. (laughs) Uh, That's fine. Uh, Mine was, so I do not run aimlessly. Hmm. Uh, also every athlete exercises self-control in all things. Yeah. Uh, all right. I always find it hard because when you get a phrase, you want to explain immediately what it means. But right now we're just looking for right off the dome. Yeah. What jumped out at you? Uh, I think we used to be bad at just like delving into our thoughts on the matter. And, but now we've gotten disciplined. We have shown discipline. Mm, Yes. Mm. We're controlling. Mm. Mm. Yes. Nope. Mm. Mm, quite Uh, mm. all right so uh, the next part is what do you sense the lord saying to you in this reading is there a word of correction guidance encouragement wisdom or promise you have a question for god and if so feel free to write it down guys anyone want to take a jump at this what's what's the lord saying to you you both have the same thoughts so i'll let andrew go first if he wants since i i poached his uh his scripture (laughs) well i guess I mean, when I when I think of so you so run that you may attain it, it makes no sense unless you consider. Do you know that, that in a race all the runners run, but only one receives the prize? And to me, 
what that what it's saying personally to me is you know you're not you're not all that special <laughs> in a way like you're not the only one reaching for this goal you know and so are you going to uh basically be lazy about it and kind of not put all it all in or are you going to run so that you may obtain it because there's lots of people around you that are you know hungry and want that and uh, I guess that's what it's kind of saying to me personally. Well, well, if I can, the cool thing about the race is that, yes, we're like the three of us, we're running this race together. We can encourage each other. But at the end of the race, it is us and God. You guys, I, I can't go. Mm -hmm. But but Lucas, but I was running with Lucas and I was running with Andrew. And you guys, you know, mm -hmm. like I have got to run it, like you're saying, with the intention of I've got to win this race to, to the Lord, if that makes, am I tracking mm -hmm. with you, Andrew? Yep. yep. Sorry. Yep. Lucas, how about you, Lucas? my man? Uh, for me, it's funny because this, this whole thing basically goes to the, like, is circling around the idea of like, prepare yourself. Mm -hmm. Like, don't take it lightly. Take it seriously. Like you talk about the fact that these, like these athletes, these runners are like training hard and doing all this. So they can get like a little wreath like, and bragging rights. That's it. You know? Yep. And so, how much more should we be training and, and taking seriously this, which, you know, this whole, our faith and everything like that. And when I was reading this, I, I keep thinking of this Teddy Roosevelt uh, quote. And he said that uh, champions are not born in the ring. They're merely recognized there, hmm. uh, which means basically like all your hard work happens way beforehand. Like, Absolutely. We, we, you know, we think of the ring, we think of the championship, you know, like it's like the, the best NHL team or MLB team or whatever, the best team, they're like, oh, they're the champions because they won the game. So like, no, 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 they're the champions because they trained and because they did mm. all this. It was the 50 billion things they did before the championship. They just got crowned champions that day. But it wasn't that day that really made the difference. It was all the stuff they did before that. And really, that's what it is as Christians. And, you know, if I, I don't know, if Andy Stanley or Craig Rochelle or somebody smart uh, said, you know, if you, if you wait until – if you wait until troubles come to see if you're like prepared for them, it's too late. Like you need yep. to make sure that your, your character is ready. If you try to develop character on the fly, it's not going to go well. <laughs> um, oh, John Maxwell said that. So yeah. So you may have to make sure that your character is ready beforehand. So you're I, always be working on that, working on your spiritual walk. Obviously same thing goes for that, the, you know, character and your faith. Uh, if you're, if you're going to like, I'll start reading my Bible when things get tough, well, it'll be, that ship will done sail by then. Uh, you got to be working on it in the good times. And, yeah. and for me, that's where my message, what was standing out to me, it really came back to this picture of the athlete and mm -hmm. not running aimlessly. So I, I, as a kid, you just get out there, you run, your arms are in the air and you're just kind of running wherever. There's no point. As you get older, none of us do that. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you're running, there's a reason for why you're running and, you know, to take it to, to mm -hmm. like all three of us have hit the treadmill you know, from time to time. And there's a reason why you do that. There's a reason why, like Andrew, you did the couch to 5k and, and like, but there was, there was a specific goal. There was something that you were aiming at. You just weren't going out there uh, without any purpose or plan. And in the same way for us as Christians, basically everything Lucas just said is that we, d we can't just go out there and, and hope it's going to happen and, mm -hmm. and just go all bounce back and forth every which way we have to be disciplined. And it says, I discipline my body and keep it under control. Um, lest after preaching to others, I myself should be disqualified. Man, uh, <laughs> that's a whole other conversation about how we see that taking place. Um, and that could happen to any one of us. But I, I guess there, we need to bring in self-control and discipline into, into our Christian lives in the same way that we would do that without even it wouldn't even be a question of doing that as an athlete. Of course, you're going to train. It's the little, it's getting up and being consistent with the little things day after day that, that bring you to that win. And if we don't do that, like, again, like Lucas, like you said, if we don't do that in our Christian life day after day, the little things, we're going to just fail at the big stuff. And I don't know that we'll get trusted with the big stuff. Let me, you know, he said, if you're, if you're faithful in the little, you'll be faithful in a lot. And if you're not faithful in the little, you won't be faithful in the lot. So, right. anyway did andrew did you already share hmm sorry uncomfortable <laughs> i uh, i i had one thought oh. kind of rattling around and i was having a conversation with someone the other day 
and they were talking about this church that they knew. And they said like, like, you know, they, and he said that he was frustrated with his church. And he said, he goes, he's cause they're, they're kind of old fashioned. And he goes, you know, they, they love talking about heaven and hell. And they say, we like talking about heaven and hell. And he's like, that's, there's nothing wrong with that. That's good. He goes, but if you really believe in hell and heaven, why aren't you leaving the doors of your church? Like these are the, you know, we like mm-hmm. to preach the gospel and fire and brimstone, all that. Like, good. But you don't outreach to the community whatsoever. Like if you think this hell thing is real, you, you should act like it. You should act like reaching every single possible person is important to you. Right. Like, you know, Penn and Teller, that guy, somebody came up to him. He's not a Christian. And someone came up to him and gave him a Bible. And he's listen, I know you're not a, a, not a Christian, but and you're an atheist. And he goes, but, but I want to give this Bible. And I think it's really important and share the gospel with him. He goes, listen, yeah, I don't believe, I don't believe what you believe, but man, like I can't, he's like a Christian who doesn't want to share the gospel. Like if you believe it, he's like, I don't believe it's true, but if you did, of course you're going to want to talk to everybody about it. Like, yeah, don't ever apologize for that. Like, mm-hmm. and I thought that was kind of a cool reaction, even though he doesn't subscribe to the faith. He's like, yeah, like a Christian who doesn't like, I don't believe in it, but a Christian who doesn't go and try to tell everybody about Jesus. Cause as far as they know, they're trying to save somebody from like hell. It's like, yeah, of course. I hope they tell me about it. Cause otherwise how much do you hate that person? Yeah. Uh, and that's, this is from an atheist mm-hmm. saying this, right? So anyway, it was a cool moment. Mm, I, I've heard that. Uh, so for us now, it's coming down to uh, obedience and what steps can we take today uh, to be obedient to what we feel God's revealing to us? It might be something that we're already working on. Would it be fair yeah. to say, gentlemen, that it's it's going to be about the little things and being self-controlled and consistent in mm-hmm. in, in, in in our faith and practicing the things of our faith? I don't want to. I don't, I don't, I don't want to. Don't take your waste answer. it. Yeah, you know, don't yeah. waste what well, this opportunity. Mm. Yeah, that that's something that I it's I don't know if it's an obedience or repentance thing, but something I I've been thinking about a lot more this year with both my faith and my parenting. Like, I I get one shot at it, I don't want to waste it, mm-hmm. right? And I mean, I come home and I'm tired, and you know, the kids are crawling all over me, and sometimes I'm just like, just go away, just give daddy some space, you know, like, so, and and sometimes it's fine, but like. Yep. I need to make sure like, I only get one shot at, I only get to raise them once. And I only get to uh, raise them in faith once I get one kick at that can. Well, technically three, but you get the idea. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm still shooting for hundred uh, percent. And I want to make sure that I, that I take that seriously. And then I don't um, check out, which I've done in the past. And I still do sometimes now, but I think that's something I need to, to work on. And, and like, you know, take, it's funny because I was in a staff meeting today and then we have a, one of our, uh, one of our older staff members and, you know, he's an awesome, awesome guy. And he said, you know, we were talking about kids. He goes, that was my favorite time when they were little. Like I, I miss those days. That was so fun. So I want to make sure that I, as, and I was like, Oh, take mental note of that. Like I'm, the, I'm in the good old days right now. Mm-hmm. Right. So, mm-hmm. uh, to make sure I don't waste it. That's a great, that's, that's a good word. Thanks gentlemen. Mm-hmm. Um, so repentance is write out any confession. And I think Lucas, you, you shared very well. Uh, I think that we could all say that there are times when we've run aimlessly and not really been focused in on the run that we're actually in. Um, I, at least I, let me just say, I'll say that for myself. That would be my point of repentance is for, me there too. are times when I'm running aimlessly and I'm just swinging my arms in the air at nothing and, and it, just expending energy for that, for that sake. Mm-hmm. Anybody else? All right. So the last part of SMORP is prayer to spend time thanking the Lord for all his blessings and to pray for anything or anyone that he puts on your mind. Now, there's a lot in this scripture and we did go through it kind of quickly this evening. Um, So take some time, go over that scripture again and let it ruminate. Uh, But I'm very thankful, gentlemen, that we get to uh, run this race together. And for those that are watching uh, that would say that you're a Christian, Uh, that we get to run it with you as well. So let's not run aimlessly um, and let's not miss the opportunity uh, before us. Good word. Good stuff. All right. Well, uh, you've been waiting for this particular moment and I'm going to actually toss to Andrew now and listen for it. Here we go with Andrew and... Andrew. Flawless. Stellar production Uh, quality. I love it. Yep. All right. Here's your potent podgeable for today. I like the would you rather's. Uh, and so oh. here's your question. Oh, I have a would, would you prefer that we do a 
I've got that. So it's a would you rather. <laughs> no, it's fine. Uh, here we go with you. Would you rather be a reverse centaur or a reverse mermaid slash merman? Are you able to oh. get that picture into into the stream there, Brad? Because it's a sight to behold. Uh, yeah. Okay. Sorry. So, do you want to be a human body with a fish top, or a <laughs> human body with a horse top? <laughs> oh, and buddy, I don't. And... It's uh, it's really Sophie's choice here. It's not. It's not. Yeah, great. Which one? It's, there's it's, not it's... even like a. There's not a clear winner here. No. Uh. I'm... uh... I don't know if either of these things would live long. Like <laughs> for the moment, from the moment they were picture. created. I love how the horse has legs too. It's not just this. But I mean, I guess it's not just the head. To... I'm. I would have to choose if <laughs> if I had to pick. I'm definitely choosing. Uh, I'm choosing. <laughs> oh, we've. We, oh my goodness, people are afraid now. Let's get rid of this picture um oh th this it's is a real burn it with fire situation yeah i'm gonna i'm going uh uh i'm going reverse centaur and i'll tell you why it's very <laughs> simple uh it's it is it is because of the food I'm, I'm just thinking like what do fish eat not interested what do horses eat more interested worms <laughs> yeah, fish eat grass fish don't eat grass no uh, horses eat grass but horses oats, also yay. eat oats, and I had oatmeal today, and I like that. And I had they eat <laughs> apples, and I had apples today, and I like that. Uh, and and apples I are sometimes treats; they don't eat them every day. But I understand what you're saying. One, once a week treat. Once a week treat. So, <laughs> and I also treat. think there's some kind of senti sentience sentience there with a horse that is not present with a fish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like you you have a Those goldfish brain, or like uh, what's a smart fish? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Still dumb. Whatever the smartest fish is, I Still. think it's tuna because they're brain food and they're not known for being overly intelligent. Uh, so, yeah. Poor. Okay, I hold on. I would I, go, oh, no, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry. Go ahead, Andrew. I think I would go horse as well. Right. It's the. I clear just like choice. to imagine like those legs sticking out and like those would be my weapons. <laughs> oh my goodness! Did you notice Your that he still the human still has his arms? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you have double and, arms, and he's wearing a. It looks to me like basketball uniform. Like, yeah, this is a this is a build for basketball right here. Anyway, yeah, I guess so. Uh, uh, so if I'm gonna be, I, no, so would you say oh. yay or nay to that horse? <laughs> oh my word! Little, little horse joke there. Little little equestrian humor. Uh, <laughs> I've got to say. I've got to say the horse merely because I feel like the fish would immediately suffocate. And if you throw it in the water, it's oh. not going to swim that well. I, I mean, it's got the bikini, but it, I don't still don't think it's going to swim that well. Uh, so I'm going to go horse centaur man, uh, even though he looks to be in pain, but uh, yeah, now Scott he said, lift, he can't lift up the, the body. The horse that's too heavy. <laughs> That's why he's crouched down. <laughs> Scott, I'll have you know I look great in a bikini. Thank you for, for commenting. Uh, it's funny. Yes, and, uh, Th this is what brought the most comments the in. Uh, uh, so today, Jaden was homesick and Belly was upset, whatever, whatever. Going through the day, Mandy sends a message and asks how he's doing. And I just said, you know what? Is Belly still a little upset? And she then writes a message. Uh, okay, give, give him some tuna. <laughs> Uh, this reminded me of that. Okay. She meant her phone auto corrected Tums to tuna, but oh. but for like for like, a like it's too late. I've already given him two cans of tuna. For like a split second, I'm like, no, Why? this isn't this is not a thing. In right? smoothie form, I don't, I don't want to talk oh, about yeah. that. Yeah, have, Brad, Brad. For those of you who are new to the show, Brad made us a, a smoothie twice. out of tuna for some reason. It was just ice and tuna, wasn't it? It was ice, tuna, and water. <laughs> oh, sorry, and water. My mistake. You got to get that protein. Can't forget the water. That's right. Oh my words. Oh, uh, there you go. So I think we've I think we've all settled on the horrible horseman. Yes, we have. Yep. Lesser of two evils. Mm -hmm. Yep. The lesser of two evils. 
I think it'd be easier if that horse didn't look so like upset. Like horses normally have a kind of majestic look to them. That guy does not look majestic. Maybe if he was wearing a suit. What am I? <laughs> yeah, very much so. Oh, um, could you imagine if that was what Mr. Tumnus actually looked like? <laughs> <laughs> they would have gone back to that wardrobe. Andrew, get us out of here. Or Lucas, get us out of here. Someone get off. All, right. all right. Well, you can forget this picture forever and follow us on uh, all the social medias. We got Facebook. We got Twitter. We got Instagram and YouTube at Oxford Holy Club. Uh, and throw up the hashtag OH Club if you're using social media. Uh, and we would love it if you're listening to us on iTunes. Listen, listen, we would love a five star rating. Uh, and we would love it so much that we will even read it on the air if it's radio appropriate. Not only that, but you can send your questions to us at oxfordholyclub.com. You can browse merch. You can find the Smorp on there and more. And we don't pay to advertise, so the only growth that we get comes from you sharing us with others. So click the share button, let people know about us. And folks, until next time, keep spiritually fit. And have fun. And have fun.